Howdy heretics! Yesterday I told you the story about our elder that was a pirate and burned down the Kingdom Hall. And obviously some angry Jehovah Witnesses send me a message and say Lying apostate, you provide no evidence. Well, the fact that I do not provide evidence doesn't make me a liar, it makes me lazy. So next time you can send me a message that say Lazy apostate, you do not provide any evidence. Or you could say random person that do not do not cater to my needs, you provide no evidence. Because I really do not cater to your needs. <laughs> I have a day job. But since you asked so nicely, I thought I could Google this and find some articles from back in the days, because it's like 10 years since this happened. But it, I remember it very well, and it's the uh, neighbor congregation, the same circuit as I am in now. So what happened is the, the Kingdom Hall burned down, it was totally destroyed. The building was still standing up, you know, but it was totally damaged. And the police investigated this as arson, because they could see the fire started in the lobby and there's really no electricity there, according to the article. Everything I say now is according to these articles. I will give you the link in the description. So there were no electricity there and no reason for self-ignition. So they were investigating this and this elder came into the searchlight because of the way he was spending money. He was a suspicious person and he was also convicted, according to this article, for stealing a boat. He was convicted for 45 days in jail, in Norwegian jail, which is basically he meant to, to he was allowed to roam free because it was a first time offender, but still Technically, he was convicted to 45 days in jail for stealing a boat and a trailer to keep the boat on. So that's why I refer to him as a pirate. This sounds much more fun to say that our, one of our elders was a pirate and burned down the Kingdom Hall. But in many countries, if you steal a car, you're a thief. If you steal a boat, you're a pirate. So I prefer to use the word pirate <laughs> because it sounds fun. But he had gambling problems. That's why he was st stealing stuff and selling stuff. Uh, and the police could prove that he had stolen 37,000 Norwegian kroner from the congregation. And he admitted to have stolen even more. He admitted to have stolen somewhere between 40 and 50,000. So, and according to this article, he had to go to jail for eight months. I found another article that said slightly different. And there's many reasons why. Maybe they made a mistake or maybe he appealed. The other article from another, uh, uh, another um, newspaper said that the prosecution wanted eight months, but he only got six because he chose to put all the cards on the table. So maybe he appealed and got a shorter sentence. But anyway, I remember this story very well. And then he was disfellowshipped. And according to this article, Watchtower sued him and wants two million to build a new kingdom hall. And that's actually only fair. You should not burn down other people's building. You know, even if no one's there, still people can come there. And, you know, maybe someone wants to be a hero and climb into the building to look after someone. So never, ever, ever put a <laughs> building on fire. You risk other people's lives. So, that's the story about our elder that was a pirate and burned down the Kingdom Hall. And I'll leave you the link in the description. And if you don't understand Norwegian, that's really not my fault. But these are nice, easy to read articles if you use Google Translate and you look at the pictures, burning, burning, burning. And this is from inside the Kingdom Hall. I actually have been sitting in one of these chairs when I was there for a pioneer meeting, something. But... Um, yeah, this elder, he was disfellowshipped. I don't know if he's back as a witness now or if he, I don't know, maybe found a new religion. But uh, <laughs> I wish him well. I hope he moved on with his life and he got some therapy to get rid of his gambling problem. So, but it's still, it's kind of a funny story. One of our elders was a pirate and he burned down the Kingdom Hall. So, I hope you like this video. I hope you are among my 144,000 subscribers. And the tower will fall when the ingathering of my 144,000 subscribers is complete. So, see you in paradise.